Hello there. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how to tackle problems on belts and pulleys in Mechanics of Machines 1. Let's begin with this question. A casting weighing 9 kN hangs freely from a rope which makes 2.5 turns round a drum of 300 mm diameter revolving at 20 rpm. The other end of the rope is pulled by a man. The coefficient of friction is 0 0.25. Determine 1. The force required by the man. 2. The power to raise the casting. Solution Given W equals T1 equals 9,000 newtons. D equals 0 0.3 meters. N equals 20 RPM. Mu equals 0 0.25. 1. Let T2 be equals to force required by the man. Since the rope makes 2.5 turns round the drum, therefore the angle of contact is given by theta equals 5 pi radians. Finding the tension in the slack side. T2 equals 176.47 newtons. 2. Finding the velocity. V equals 0 0.3142 meters per second. Finding the power. P equals 2,772 watts. Here is a second question. A flat belt is required to transmit 30 kilowatts from a pulley of 1.5 meters effective diameter running at 300 rpm. The angle of contact is spread over 11 24ths of the circumference. The coefficient of friction between the belt and pulley surface is 0 0.3. Determine, taking centrifugal tension into account, width of the belt required. It is given that the thickness is 9.5 millimeters, density of material is 1,100 kilograms per cubic meter and the related permissible working stress is 2.5 megapascals. Solution Given P equals 30 times 10 to power 3 watts DP equals 1.5 meters N equals 300 RPM Mu equals 0 0.3. Thickness T equals 9.5 times 10 to power negative 3 meters. Rho equals 1,100 kilograms per cubic meter. Sigma equals 2.5 times 10 to power 6 pascals. Finding the angle of contact. Theta equals 2.88 radians. Let T1 equals tensions in the tight side of the belt. T2 equals tensions in the slack side of the belt. Finding the belt velocity. V equals 23.57 meters per second. Finding the tensions T1 and T2. From power transmitted. T1 minus T2 is equal to 1,273 newtons. From the tension relation formula. T1 over T2 equals 2.375. From equations, 1, and, 2. T1 is equal to 2,199 newtons. T2 is equal to 926 newtons. Finding the width of the belt required. From. Mass equals area times length times density. Mass equals 10.45 W kilograms per squared meter. From centrifugal tension. Tc equals 5805 W newtons. Thus width W equals 122 millimeters. Here is the last question. Power is transmitted using a V-belt drive. The included angle of V-groove is 30 degrees. The belt is 20 millimeters deep and maximum width is 20 millimeters. If the mass of the belt is 0 0.35 kilograms per meter length and maximum allowable stress is 1.4 megapascals, determine the maximum power transmitted when the angle of lap is 140 degrees. Mu equals 0 0.15. Solution. Given. Beta equals 15 degrees. Thickness T equals 0 0.02 meters. Width W equals 0 0.02 meters. M equals 0 0.35 kilograms per meter. Sigma equals 1.4 times 10 to power 6 newtons per squared meter. 
theta equals 2.444 radians. Mu equals 0 0.15. Finding the maximum tension in the belt. T equals 560 newtons. Finding the velocity of the belt at maximum power transmission. V equals 23.1 meters per second. Let T1 equals tensions in the tight side of the belt. T2 equals tensions in the slack side of the belt. Finding the tensions T1 and T2. From the tension relation formula. T1 over T2 equals 4.13. Finding the centrifugal tension. Tc equals 187 newtons. Finding the tension T1. T1 equals 373 newtons. Finding the tension T2. From equation, 1, T1 is equal to 90.3 newtons. Finding the maximum power transmitted. P equals 6530 watts. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. I am Engineer Mayday, when you need help Mayday is the call. You have been an interactive learner. Thank you.